Hi, I'm Randy Wynn, and I'm here at the Willie McCovey Golf Classic. Welcome back to another episode of the Gym on Base Show. We're here at Harding Park uh, with the great Randy Wynn. And Randy, it's good to see you. So uh, what brings you out to the golf course today? Well, lots of reasons. Uh, Willie McCovey, Junior Giants, uh, Giants Community Fund, great golf course, beautiful day, all for a great cause. And it's a beautiful day too, right? No overcast or anything. It's meant to be. Yeah, well, you know, when you get to this part of San Francisco, you never know. Could be a little overcast, could be a little windy. Uh, but today's just absolutely beautiful, light wind. Of course, is in great shape. Um, it's been a lot of fun today. And I was curious, you know, when you're retired, uh, the Community Fund, Junior Giants, they must have made an impact on you to get involved because you're the vice chair, right? Yeah, so I, I've been involved for a few years now. Like you said, I am the vice chair. Uh, you know, when, when you're playing, you're so focused on the field, but there are a few things for me personally that always made an impact and made me kind of raise my head from dealing with slumps and sliders and splits in the dirt, and that was uh, kids. And what the uh, Giants Community Fund does uh, for Junior Giants program and lots of other programs is, is helping out kids. And specifically when we're talking Junior Giants, it's sports for the right reasons. It's not sports. You know, if you can become a professional, that's great. But there's also all sorts of other life lessons that you can learn from sports. And the pillars that are involved in the Junior Giants program speak directly to that. Well, speaking of kids, at uh, one time you were a kid growing up in San Ramon, right, in Danville area. So it must be kind of surreal to not only play for the Giants, but I imagine get to know Willie through the years. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime you can meet like the guys that you looked up to or that were all-time greats or even guys that you had posters on your wall growing up is really cool. So for me to become a major league player, I never thought that that was going to be my path. Uh, very fortunate to get there. And then ultimately meet a lot of you know my heroes and stars of this game, including the great Willie McCutt. Um, and specifically, like when I get traded to the Giants, they were the first organization that had McCovey and Mays in the clubhouse and accessible. So being able to go over to, to Big Mac and just say, hey, and have him talk to you about anything from what, you know, stories to hitting. I love that stuff. So very fortunate to have met him and to be able to spend some time with him. Well, do you have a memory that sticks out? Or I know you probably have a lot, but... You know, the, the ones that stick out um, involve my parents. So growing up here, coming back, it was, I tell people it's like playing Little League. After the game, my parents were there. Uh, I wasn't married in Little League, but my wife was there. My in-laws were there. My brother was there. My brother lived in the city. So it was kind of like Little League. Like you come out after the game and, and everybody's just kind of hanging out. So my parents came to a lot of games. They were wait um, outside the clubhouse, uh, kind of in the tunnel. And I just know like for my father, like the those were the guys he watched. So for him, it was huge. And so that meant a lot to me that Willie McCovey would take a minute or a few minutes to just sit and talk to my father about, about whatever, what was growing up, uh, you know, whatever they had kind of mutually going on or even stories like that meant a lot to me. And Willie McCovey was a, a, was a great man. Like I said, I was very fortunate to spend, even if it was just a fraction of time around him and talking to him. Well, Randy, one last question. I know you're busy. You're, you're in an active golf match we, right we, now. We, we got a birdie putt. We got a birdie okay. putt. Yeah. Well, real quick, I saw you at the Mike Murphy retirement ceremony. Yeah. Saw you interacting with like Omar, Vizquel, Barry Bonds. Were any of those guys good golfers on those teams you were on or with the Giants? Well, to, I did not play golf when I was an active baseball player. I didn't pick it up till after. But, you know, you hear, you know, the guys like uh, Kevin Correa, uh, Matt Cain, uh, notice I'm talking about a lot of pitchers those were the guys that were doing a lot of golfing because most of them didn't work every day uh no shade there but um you know I, I think a lot of guys gravitate to the game of golf afterwards because for hitters um playing golf is like ma managing golf swing is like managing a baseball swing it's equally frustrating so there's a lot of similarities there and it's something that you can do for a long time and it's very competitive and you're always just playing against yourself like you're playing against yourself in the course well, Randy, I know you got to get going. Thanks for giving us some time. It's good to see you. All right, thanks.